Old maps are more than lines, they're invitations to adventure. Ancient charts of Southeast Asia reveal a world in flux. Coastlines shift, islands appear, and vanish. For the ancestors of Filipinos, these maps were not just geography, they were hope, hinting at lands beyond the horizon. Early cartographers drawing from sailors' tales marked islands rich with promised spices, forests, pearls. Each island was a stepping stone, a possible new home. These maps whispered of danger and reward, guiding navigators who trusted stars and wind more than certainty. The Austronesian expansion began not with a single voyage, but with countless acts of courage, families setting out into the unknown. The maps themselves are incomplete, raising questions. What drove these journeys? The answers are lost, but the roots remain. These silent witnesses set the stage for one of humanity's greatest migrations. The Filipino story begins here, with lines on fragile parchment pointing across a vast, mysterious sea. The journey starts not with words, but with a vision of possibility. History isn't just written in books, it's encoded in our DNA. Scientists today read a single strand of DNA and see echoes of ancient journeys. For Filipinos, this genetic map reveals a tapestry woven from many migrations. Population genetics traces these threads, showing connections to the indigenous peoples of Taiwan, the out-of-Taiwan theory, proven in our cells. Austronesian signatures dominate, but older layers remain, the Negrito groups, whose ancestors arrived long before. Later, Chinese traders, Spanish colonizers, and American soldiers left their marks. Each group added to the genetic mosaic. DNA analysis reveals that being Filipino is not about a single origin, but a long history of mixing and adaptation. The story isn't simple, but it's clear. Filipino identity is a living record of journeys, encounters, and change. The mystery of ancestry is being unlocked, one gene at a time. Our blood carries the map of our past. The Filipino story is a story of the sea, beginning not in Luzon or Mindanao, but in Taiwan. Four to five thousand years ago, Austronesian peoples, farmers, and master sailors looked to the ocean as a highway. Compelled by need or hope, they built boats and set sail south. Their migration wasn't a single event, but a slow, generational movement. Families in outrigger canoes, carrying plants, animals, and culture. The first major stop, the Batanese Islands, visible from Taiwan on a clear day. From there, Austronesians spread rapidly, settling throughout the Philippine archipelago. They brought advanced farming and seafaring skills, meeting the Negrito hunter-gatherers already there. The Austronesians' edge was not weapons, but agriculture and boats, the Balangay. Their technology allowed them to thrive in new environments. The Philippines, with its thousands of islands, became their new home. The meeting of peoples began a new chapter in human history. The Austronesian cradle in Taiwan gave birth to a new people. The journey had only just begun. The Austronesian expansion was powered by the Balangay, a marvel of maritime engineering. With outriggers for stability, these boats carried families, animals, and hope across open ocean. Navigators read stars, watched birds, and sensed the sea, guiding their vessels without maps or compasses. The journey was perilous. Storms, hunger, and uncertainty tested every traveler. Yet necessity and hope drove them onward, each new island a promise of survival. Every successful landing was a triumph, a new beginning. They brought not just themselves, but their world crops, animals, and traditions. The voyage was more than migration, it was the act of creation. The Balangay was a bridge between worlds, carrying the seeds of new societies. Each crossing was a leap of faith, rewarded by the sight of land on the horizon. The Austronesians didn't just arrive, they transformed the islands they touched. 
Their legacy is written in every shoreline and every community. The sea was their road, and the Belongay their vessel of destiny. The journey shaped a people and a nation. Arrival was just the start. The Philippines, over 7,000 islands, demanded adaptation. Settlers learned new plants, new landscapes, and new ways to survive. As groups spread and separated, their language branched into hundreds. Today, over 170 distinct tongues. This linguistic diversity maps the paths of migration and settlement. The Austronesians met the Negrito peoples, the island's first inhabitants. Sometimes there was conflict, sometimes coexistence, and often intermarriage. Genetic evidence shows a blending of peoples, shaping the Filipino gene pool. Over time, villages grew, trade networks formed, and unique cultures emerged. Pottery, weaving, and metalwork flourished, influenced by the land and by contact with others. The journey from Taiwan created a vibrant, diverse archipelago. The islands became more than destinations, they became home. Here, the foundation of the Filipino nation was laid. New beginnings, new identities, and new stories took root. DNA is a living text, a glowing helix connecting past and present. Imagine it as light, Austronesian migrants from Taiwan, a bright river flowing south, filling the islands. This light carries language, farming, and seafaring skills, the foundation of Filipino identity. Ancient Negrito DNA glows beneath, mixing with the new arrivals. The result is a beautiful, complex pattern, no one color erased, but all blending. Later, threads of gold, silver, and bronze, Chinese, Spanish, American, join the tapestry. The modern Filipino helix is a vibrant braid, a testament to movement and adaptation. This isn't just metaphor, it's a visual of how we're all connected. We are living bridges, carrying the story of our ancestors forward. Our DNA is the light that links us to the past and guides us to the future. Every Filipino carries this legacy within. The story is written in ourselves. We are the sum of countless journeys. Why look to the past? To know who we are, we must know where we came from. The Filipino story is one of courage, resilience, and adaptation, echoing the human experience. The Austronesian expansion was one of humanity's last great migrations, connecting islands and cultures across the Pacific. Uncovering these truths connects Filipinos to each other, to a wider Austronesian world, and to the universal urge to explore. The challenges faced by ancient navigators still resonate today. Understanding our genetic and cultural history has real-world value, from medicine to environmental stewardship. The past is not just stories, it's wisdom for the present and future. Our search for roots is a search for meaning, reminding us we are part of an unbroken chain. The legacy of ancient seafarers lives on in language, food, and DNA. By tracing their path, we honor their journey, and our own. 